no person is above the law in this country. Nothing stops us. Even a former president. No, per I don't know how to. Maybe what do you mean, even a former president? It's like the top of the hour ad break. It's going to come for you no matter what, okay? Doesn't matter if you're the president. Doesn't matter if you're just a regular old Joe, okay? Here's how this shit works. At the top of the hour, there's a six second ad break. If you no longer want to see those fucking ads, all you need to do is subscribe, which you can do for $5 or you can do for free, okay? How can you do it for free with well, a Twitch Prime? Or if you're lucky, you can get gifted a sub. That's it. Those are the only ways you can avoid the top of the hour ad break. Otherwise, it's coming for you, okay? Just like Merrick Garland, Dark Garland, is coming for you, Donald Trump. I hate that meme because it like assumes that Nazis are the Chad guy too. God, so many fucking weirdos on the internet. Okay. Vin Garland saga. Three out of ten bait. Okay, dude, don't uh, dude, test me. Test me. Okay. Come after me. Tell me I'm not fucking doing debates well enough. I will drop one so fucking hard it'll destroy your soul uh, later in the fucking uh, broadcast. Okay, go ahead. Here's the woman ad break now. All right. <sighs> why do Americans why do Americans want someone to be above the law? Want someone they like to be above the law so bad? Uh that's the entire premise of law enforcement, my friend. Hello? Welcome. The entire existence of law enforcement is predicated upon they're brutal, but they have to be because they're being brutal to the right people. The right people are the people that scare me, okay? Uh, someone living in the fucking suburbs like a white guy. Do you understand? So it's fine if they're being uh, awful to black people, but don't treat me like a black person is literally at the heart of, like, White suburbians and their understanding of uh, crime and punishment and uh, criminal justice for the most part. Hopefully that clears it up for you. So, of course, the same. Why do you think these people live stream themselves breaking into the fucking Capitol building to the halls of Congress? Why? Why do they do that? Because they're entitled. Because they're like, yeah, of course, you're here to protect and serve me, motherfucker. What do you mean? That's literally the same energy of people. Uh, that is the exact same energy as people saying, why would they do this to Donald Trump? He's the president. He's a good guy. He's one of the good guys. And, and the cops are good guys. Just like us. And they're only supposed to do this to the bad guys. What the fuck? Meanwhile, if you're on the left, you already understand that they do it to marginalized people all the time. Regularly. That is a part of their process. That's a part of their actual fucking, uh, you know, that's, that's what they are supposed to do. Okay. You want to say that again? No person is above the law in this country. The FBI had no comment, but Trump put out a lengthy statement calling the search politically motivated and attacking the FBI. Though FBI Director Christopher Wray was handpicked by Trump to replace James Comey after Trump fired Comey. Law enforcement sources part. say the search warrant was approved by a federal judge, something that would have required agents to demonstrate probable. Some Redditors calling for civil war are literally January 6th attendees awaiting sentencing. Last night, I posted a screen screenshot of top replies on the Donald about Mar-a-Lago raid, almost all of them violent. One user, BananaGuard62, referenced a civil war. Well, it turns out BananaGuard62 is Tyler Welch Slaker awa awaiting sentencing for storming the Capitol on 1-6. Why are they doing this? Yeah, here he is taking a selfie on 1-6. He's been posting on the Donald. In the 17 months since, in a reply to a Civil War post last night, he clarified, I'm awaiting sentencing for trespassing into the Capitol. I am only being careful with my words. They can't help themselves, dude. Smartest fucking Trump supporter, dude. I swear to God. They can't help themselves. Why are you admitting from your anonymous account that you are currently awaiting trial for literally doing exactly what you're saying you want to do more of. These are the motherfuckers that go, wow, I can't believe rappers are dumb enough to do crimes and then fucking rap about it. Okay. Meanwhile, th 
this is not even like artistic integrity, okay? You just straight up are admitting to wanting to do more of the same crimes you just did. Just admit, okay, at least some of the shit or most of the shit is, is, is a bop, okay? It's good. It sounds cool and fun. You are just literally on Reddit being like, I am currently about to go to trial for doing something that I want to do more of and actually in more violent ways. That's in like at least do it in rap form, motherfucker. Okay, so maybe we can make a First Amendment, uh, uh, you know, artistic integrity uh, defense there. Nope. That's crazy. Alex Jones meta is finally in, my friend. Alex Jones meta has always been in. It is the same exact energy as taking a selfie when you are doing a fucking crime. Why? Because they think law enforcement is historically supposed to protect them from the bad guys, the scary guys, black people, brown people, undocumented immigrants. Okay? That's, that's the reason why they openly mention shit like this. The Alex Jones meta is just being an entitled conservative. Okay? That's it. And it's awesome. I love that. I love how confident they are. They're like, yeah, we're going to do it. This is like the entrapment of children. I can't believe you would do this. Yeah, I mean, it is a bit ableist. Like, I'll, I'll admit. Like, arresting, arresting conservatives, arresting hogs for being, you know, uh, for doing hog shit is a bit ableist like you know you're not letting them play in the pig pen like they're pigs they're gonna fucking get dirty they're gonna oink they're gonna squeal that's kind of their thing that's their culture it's their attitude and it's also the their their mental limitations like you're kind of at, at a certain point you're kind of making it, taking advantage of that but it is pretty funny pull up the video of the person saying they're being treated like a black person when a big yeah, I mean, that, that is a doctor who unfortunately was also named Jeffrey Epstein, a doctor in Florida. Um, I remember covering that a while ago. Here, this is, this is the perfect, uh, like... Here, here you go, dude, here. Here, we'll play this again. He's a law enforcement officer, and he's trying to provoke me. We're talking about these moments and now. Is that going to de escalate things? Genius. Do you have training? Genius. There's no outcome. You want to test me? Come arrest me or give me a fight. They're arresting me. They're arresting me. They're really de escalating. Hey, you don't get cuffed. Stop. Stop. I'm not. Stop. By the way, this is a uh, for a lot of the people who are otherwise racist and don't understand why people say like stop resisting, stop resisting. If you don't res if you don't resist, you don't get killed or whatever. Um, if you've never been handcuffed, I will tell you the way that you are handcuffed is a way that your body is not supposed to contort. So there is no. There's no way to not resist, for the record. Like, your shoulders are not supposed to go that way, okay? Which is precisely why cops could technically say, you're resisting arrest, which is what's going on here. He put his fucking hands uh, behind him, and yet he's still being hurt. Because he clearly has never been arrested before, okay? He's never been handcuffed before, but that shit hurts. That's how it works. Well Look at them, They're, look at them, they're going to beat me up. Don't beat me up, you mother Don't beat me up, look at them. Oh my God, I can't believe they're doing this. Oh my God. Hey, hey, look what they're doing. Oh, get on the other side. I'm not listening, you being rough with me. You treat me like a black person. He 
he's, he goes, you're going to get sprayed. Look, he took the fucking bear spray out, dude. Bear mace. You're going to get sprayed. So, yeah, he says, you're treating me like a fucking black person. Now, so that is perhaps one of the better, uh, that is perhaps one of the better representations of like, just like someone basically uh, admitting it. You know what I mean? Like, this is not supposed to happen. Like, this is not supposed to happen to me. I'm a white guy. I'm rich. You know, it's not supposed to happen to me. It's supposed to happen to black people. Like, you're treating me like a black person. Calm down. Okay? So, I, I, love, I love that video for that reason because, like, it just kind of shows the, the um, it kind of shows like, the attitude in general that people usually have. Okay? Um, and it's the exact same uh, attitude that leads people to have this entitled attitude to go into the fucking uh, halls of Congress, storm it, beat the shit out of cops, and literally take selfies. You know what I mean? That guy's name in the video was Dr. Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I know. Um, those posts on extremist forums last night talking about a civil war and angling for violence, they're not all from random people. At least one of the most popular posts is from someone who stormed the Capitol on 1-6 awaiting trial. So there it is. And they think that, like, uh, even when they're under legal scrutiny from the federal government, even when they are currently awaiting trial for literally doing something that is very adjacent to, like, uh, asking for a civil war, agitating for a civil war, they still do it because they think, perhaps correctly, it's not going to happen to me. That's not what the criminal justice system is for. Well, sometimes it is, okay? Sometimes it can be. Seems like for a brief moment it is. Now, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in the aftermath of all this when everything unfolds. But part of the reason why I uh, was a little worried even yesterday while talking about this, even though we are celebrating, you know, schadenfreude, um, even though we are celebrating conservatives fucking uh, going crazy on the timeline over this, um, was because if it's for nothing, if it's literally for no if it's for like a minor mishandling of evidence or whatever the fuck mishandling of like classified documents, I'm not going to sit here and give you the Rachel Maddow take about how important this is because I don't know exactly what kind of evidence this is. Okay. Do you understand? Do you get it? Because remember Maggie Haberman wrote an article yesterday on the New York times before this raid happened about Donald Trump throwing notes that he had written in the toilet. Now that's technically uh, unacceptable and not allowed, right? You're not supposed to do that. Everything that the president writes is, uh, needs to be preserved in, in uh, Library of Congress. Like it needs to be documented and it needs to be preserved. That's just how it works. There's also a method of, there's also a method of like disposing of that information, especially if it's like s private shit or classified information. And dumping it in the toilet is not allowed. And there's rules around that. There's rules around that. Um, but ultimately, it's not enough, in my opinion, to use that as a, as a way to, like, just fucking you know, arrest them. It makes me feel good when it happens. But I do fear that if it's not for something that big, if it's for just, you know, mishandling evidence, I fear that uh, this will blow up in the FBI's face, and they have done this before. They did it with the Jim Comey shit. Probable cause that a crime or crimes were committed. Republican leaders are lashing out at the FBI and the Justice Department. Kevin McCarthy, the Republican leader in the House, for example, putting out a statement saying, quote, the Department of Justice has reached an intolerable state of weaponized politicization. George. John, you called it at the start the most politically explosive FBI search probably in American history, but it's not the first time they've looked at Mar-a-Lago. In fact, George, ABC News has learned that a uh, contingent, much smaller contingent of law enforcement agents visited Mar-a-Lago this spring. Uh, Trump was actually there at the time. Uh, they met with his lawyers and they did retrieve some documents. Apparently, however, they were not satisfied with what they received at that last visit. Okay, George. John Carl, thanks very much. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. First, you got to kind of take a breath. FBI raid on the home of a former president. Let's walk everyone through the process so they understand what would have to happen 
for that FBI search to take place? Right. First thing is they have to go to a judge, right? They have to be able to prove that there's probable cause that a crime was committed and that there could be evidence at this specific home. They have to be specific in the warrant. Judge has to then sign off on that. But even before that happens. Well, that's what I wanted yeah, to do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> kids are mad on Twitter and saying that this is fascism. Motherfucker, fascism isn't when it like when it happens to your side, okay? Like people don't understand what fucking fascism is. If this is fascism, then fascism has been happening to marginalized people from the jump, which I would agree with, okay? I mean, it, that's crazy. That's crazy that they're like, oh, the FBI uh, dropping the 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 lenient attitude that they normally have over this to to uh, go after a previous president is fascism. Like, that's crazy. You understand that that they do this all the fucking time. This is what the law enforcement agencies do, and they do it against people who are powerless 99.9% .9 of the fucking time, and they use it, um, uh, and they even write new laws specifically so they can do this even harder. The uh, sentencing disparity between crack cocaine and, and regular cocaine is a perfect example of this. Okay? If this is fascism, then, yeah, what happened to fucking Fred Hampton is actual fascism. Okay? That's real fascism. No-knock warrants and all that sort of stuff is uh, perfectly normal in the, in the process of law enforcement conduct. Okay? It's completely unacceptable. That shit is actually completely fucked up. This, on the other hand, is not. Yeah. Chatters, mis don't misunderstand it. This ain't fascism. It's communism. Right? It's coming for you, baby. It's haunting. Even before that happened, you have got to believe that the highest levels of the Justice the, Department signed the off. The White on House this. says they didn't know about it, but clearly Christopher Ray, the FBI director, would. No known. doubt, Christopher Ray knew about I it. I guess the open question would be: Did Merrick Garland, the Attorney General, know about it, or his deputy Lisa Monica? I've got to believe that Merrick Garland knew about this. I, you have to. I mean, when you're talking about um, going to the former President of the United States' home, it, it, the implications are so significant that you have to believe that Merrick Garland knew about it, and, and specifically that they wouldn't tell the President of the United States about it. I mean, it's for the same reason that Merrick Garland needs to know about it, is the reason that I think they want to make sure that the President doesn't know about it and isn't involved. We, we, we believe they took documents away from, from Mar-a-Lago. There are questions about mishandling of classified information. That, of course, is a crime. Yep. It could prevent the President from running again, although that law is at issue, but there has to be something more, right? I, I completely agree with you that everyone is everyone is uh, of the same mindset here. Okay, everyone is of the same mindset here. Like, if this is just mishandling documents, then that's such a fucking nothing burger that you did like a huge thing for. Okay, it's it's a total nothing burger that the FBI went balls of the wall, uh, you know, big dick mode on. For no fucking reason. So I really do hope that there's more. Give us something, dude. Come on. To send this kind of FBI team to the former president's home, there has to be something more than just a Presidential Records Act violation. They have to know something that we don't know about yet. And I think that's why it's really important to pause here. We haven't seen the warrant. We don't know exactly what the possible crime is. And I'm not convinced that it's simply just a records act well, violation. Well, then let, let's flip that around. If it is indeed just a records act violation. I, I would think that that's overreach. I think if it's just literally that the, the president has documents uh, that he was legally obligated to turn over and there's nothing more, I would think that would be a mistake on the part of the Justice Department. But we have seen great care by this Justice Department not to go too far, which is further why I don't believe that it's well, just Well, and that would be different from destroying documents or lying about whether you had the documents. Co correct. Uh, but again, proving that you destroyed the documents is a different issue uh, than simply going there and trying to retrieve documents that the, the government believes belongs to it. What a case. Unbelievable. I mean, stunning. Th th and that so few people knew about it, that it was coming as well. Danny Abrams, thanks very much. Hi, everyone.
Why is the media pretending they know what confidentiality is, what an NDA is, Lamont? They don't know what a confident. Oh, are they going to go after Hillary next? I fucking hope, dude. That'd be so sick. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. When conservatives come in, when conservatives come in here and they're like, well, why hasn't Hillary been arrested? I'm like, uh, I agree. Uh, take that up with the big guy, okay? Yeah, that would be sick. I am a fan of that, okay? This framing, it's true. FBI raids home of Epstein-linked Clinton donor. That is true, dude. I love that. Yeah, at least Hillary was smart enough to delete the evidence. Like I said earlier yesterday when this shit was popping off, it took Trump four years and he couldn't fucking catch Hillary. Okay? Meanwhile, meanwhile, Dark Brandon took him out in two. So, remember that. I know that we said the Dark Brandon meme was dead, but now it's kind of alive. And Dark Brandon has actually done some good shit recently. And you know, like, I, I am very... I'm very critical of Dark Brandon. I'm very critical of Let's Go Brandon, right? But a couple things have happened this past week. Uh, there's some obviously shitty things that uh, they did with the IRA, the, the Inflation Reduction Act that I'm not too fond of. Wow, Hassan became a centrist. Okay. Oh, dude, I am so both sides. Uh, arrest everybody. If you think that that makes me a centrist, then go off. Okay. Yeah, totally. I am a centrist. I'm literally a centrist. Um, real back the blue vibes in here. Oh, dude, we're backing them. We're backing the blue so hard. I mean, guys, you already know I suck cops to completion, okay? The only time I take a knee is to suck off a hero cop, okay? And now... I'm, I'm taking a knee to suck off our heroes in the FBI, okay, who are like cops, but also with uh, federal jurisdiction. So remember that. I'm a centrist. I love our law enforcement. Back the boys in the blue, okay? I love sucking them off. ACAP means all cops are babes. ACAP means all cops are beautiful. ACAP means all cops are brave, Okay? That's right. And ACAB means, you're right, all cops are busting. If they're in my presence, they're busting, dude. Nuts. It's going to be real funny two years from now on when you sheepishly tell your viewers to vote for Kamala, though, Lamau. I mean, I've told my viewers to also fucking vote for Joe Brandon as well. You think I like them? No. I, I love that this is like, oh, you fall in line rhetoric. It's going to be real funny when you fall in line. I don't give a fuck. Don't vote for Kamala Harris. Don't vote for Joe Brandon. Who gives a shit? If you don't want to do that, then don't do it. Just like I said last time around as well. It doesn't fucking matter at this point, okay? Don't do it then. Don't fucking vote for him. I will always be critical, and I will always tell you Okay, that voting for these motherfuckers is not the end all be all. It's not. It's the least significant, most significant thing you can do. Okay, it's not. There's nothing you can do. Very great viewing, participating in the spectacle, uh, says Lacan Draper. Uh, judging by your Lacan Draper username, I'm going to suspect that you're one of those guys who's uh, edgy. Uh, he's not like the other leftists, you know what I mean? And by that, I mean he's transphobic and enjoys uh, the works of, uh, you know, people who reverted to Catholicism at their adult-ass age and became like, you know, they were like, uh, uh, the, out of all the religions, I'm going to go with the one that is the pedophile one, that is like most famous for the pedophilia. Thank you for being the edgy leftist in the chat. No, just jealous that you found a way to monetize left point views. Aw, brother, it's all good. Well, maybe stop being a fucking annoying douchebag in my chat and get on the grind set, baby, okay?
this guy's a hyper cringe lord? Of course, dude. They always are. It's always it always comes around to first of all, leftist. Uh, did you just call me a leftist? Because I'm not a leftist. I'm a centrist, as I told you already. I'm I'm back in the blue. I'm in support of of uh, jailing both the Democratic politicians and also the Republican politicians. I'm a centrist. I'm a capitalist. I'm a centrist. How dare you call me a leftist? How dare you? That was a surprising amount of honesty from that type of chatter. Yeah. I never understand leftists ever shitting on someone for doing a job. It's because they don't have a job, brother. <laughs> okay. Um, 